potty mouth. So, guys, finally got this from Matt. Uh, after much battling, a couple wars, uh, about 23,000 miles traveled, arguing for days, fighting a bear, I finally have them. These are some crazy death cards. That's the only way to say it. But, uh, got them from Nas, who finally decided to relinquish them. Came in a little baggy, picked up off the steps today. And, uh, nice... Place all wiped to uh, keep me safe. So let's open these up. We'll take a look at some. Maybe I'll put some pictures up of my favorites. I don't know. But okay, actual lice all wipe. Still good in here. So that's cool. Thank you. So what does it say? On the outside, famous murderers. 52. Are you live right now? No, I got it on video. Thanks for cutting in, wonderful wife. I don't like live. I don't like people. Maybe I will. I don't know. So, there's that. And then the back. So, I'm just going to grab a few. I don't know how old these are. Oh, now I do. It says 1991 Mother Productions, intended for adults only. Well, I don't know why I have them then. Here's the list of art and everything. It was mentioned because you would be reading it to our kids. I still will read these to our kids. Oh, look this one. Thomas Braun. Hmm. Oh, Braun. So, the art's really cool. And I noticed up top, I think in the live stream, they list all the little, like, knife, I guess. I don't know. That, that one's chains. That one's a butt. That <laughs> one's bloody knives. And that's a gun with a target. So, I'll take better pictures to show you guys, but... It's cool, they give a lot of details on the back. Like, uh, Thomas Braun, born in Washington State, 1945. When Tom was young, his father made him kill his own dog because the dog killed chickens. Well, gonna skip you. You're sad. And again, there is a bunch of murderers. Oh, this one, it actually says up there too, what they did. Mass murder, mentally deranged, child murderer, Mary Flora Bell. The art is honestly amazing on these i don't know where where the hell mac got these but they're awesome uh mary bell was born on may 26 1957 mary was a illegitimate daughter of a mentally disturbed woman hmm. seems like a good start uh her real father never appeared mary was a good looker but withdrawn from an array of short stays at foster homes seems like foster homes really screw a lot of people up so another one cool art I don't know, fat dude. This this guy. Oh, as I throw it, because I'm looking the other way. Charlie Manson. Yeah. Charlie Manson, he was amazing. Once sold for a pitcher of beer by his own mother. This guy had it rough from the start, and he actually told he raped a kid in the shelter, not shelter, uh like boarding school. And the kid didn't want to be known as gay, so he actually, the kid said, hey, if we get caught, can you tell them you did it forcefully? I didn't want this. So Charlie agreed to it. They got caught, of course, because Charlie Manson. And, uh, yeah, kid uh, complained. But uh, Charlie Manson's got a bunch of crazy shit in his life. He is nuts. He was just very charismatic. He wasn't that much of a crazy murderer. He was nuts, but he could talk. That seems to get everyone in trouble. Uh, of course, he led the Manson family, but honestly, he wasn't that bad. He just could talk. Oh, shut up. You're like a psycho. My wife. So, they list him as a cultist, which he is. Sex deviant, definitely is. And a mass murderer, not so much. But, whatever. The Manson family itself was a bunch of murderers, but whatever. Mark David Chapman. Holy crap, this is a uh, LSD dude. He was using programs, military, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> this is John Lennon's murderer. He was an idiot. Uh, listed as a celebrity murderer, just shot Lennon point blank. But everyone knew where Lennon was, but also it was Lennon. You didn't expect someone to kill him, even though he said someone's going to kill me. So that's something. Complete loser. 
Herbert Mullen, and this is a goodie, Lee Harvey Oswald. They say some people, it was, uh, what the hell's the word I'm looking for? The thingy where it wasn't him, but someone's making it look like it's him. Why can't my brain do brains? He was set up. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> Bridget's look was like, what is wrong with you? So he said he was set up. Then he got shot. We'll never know the truth. But did you know they still don't have uh, JFK's brain? It never showed up after the autopsy. Getting his body out of Texas was a nightmare because in Texas... Okay, so we're going to continue that after battery died. So next we got Melvin David Reese. He was a mass murderer. Real boring, but played the saxophone, so that's kind of fun. Henry DeSalvo. I should know this. Boston, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Child molester, that's good. Mass murderer, sex maniac, they got him listed as. About 300 victims, possibly. Sex maniac killed and sexually abused 13 women between the ages 19 to 85. So this guy, I remember, he did not care about anyone's age, anyone's looks. He just went buck wild. Yeah, he was stabbed to death. So that's good for him. And then Gertrude. Of course, she looks like a Gertrude. She was a mass murderer. Child beater. Her name was Gertrude Banazewiski. I don't know. Christopher Wilder we got. He... I don't know what that is. Crossdresser, I guess. William Cook. Richard Hickok. Kenneth Bianchi. Jeez. Charles Whitman. This guy. He was a piece of shit, too. Ted Bundy. You want to know more about him? Get a book. Or uh, Stranger Beside Me is good. But he was in that case. James Earl Ray. I feel like there's two here, but it's just not worn out. Stephen Judy. Stephen Judy. Dean Coral. Homosexual. Actually listed on here. Homosexual and mass murderer. He shot, stabbed, raped, tortured. Oh, wow. And he sniffed glue. So that says a lot. Did it really say that? Yes. It actually says glue say sniffer. Oh. And did you know the Sex Pistols? Sex Pistols? The Ramones had a song about sniffing glue. One of them. And then they got a lot of shit because they were made a song about sniffing glue or point out that another band. It was the Ramones point out the Sex Pistols did a song about sniffing glue. So it caused uproar because parents were upset because shouldn't be telling kids to sniff glue. Don't sniff glue. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. Do I need to say anything more? Cool art again. You know, some think Jack the Ripper was H.H. Holmes. And some people think Trump has 20 toes. Look it up. I mean, he might. Yeah, look it up. You never know. James Warren Jones, mass murderer, sexual deviate. That does that say deviate? Yeah, deviate, not deviant. Interesting. Juan Corona, how appropriate for the times. Uh, Juan Cor Juan, yeah, Juan. Juan Corona was a 38-year-old Mexican labor contractor during a six-week period in 1971. Juan killed 25 vagrants and migrant workers. That's a lot. Just the Immigrant work. Immigrant workers? You said in migrant. I don't... Migrant. Yeah. That's what it says. It doesn't say immigrant? Nope. Migrant? Thanks for questioning me, wife. <laughs> well, it sounded like you meant to say that. Well, I meant to say you smell. Okay. Victims were found with their pants down or no pants at all. Yeah! Pants down party, but not for them. The killings were sadistic in that the knife wounds were enough to kill however. What? Yeah, okay. Enough to kill however. The victims had been viciously hacked about the head with a machete. The bodies were dumped in shallow graves in the farm fields. Juan Corona suffered from schizophrenia and was said to be a hopeless heterosexual. 
Juan would dig the needed graves in advance of the killings. Juan Corona was convicted of 25 counts of murder and sentenced to life. 25 life terms. That's the doggies. They like to bark all the time. Zodiac Killer. Don't need to even go near that. This loser, David Berkowitz. Not going to give him the time because he was a loser. The son of Sam was an idiot. He even talked like an idiot in his letters. He was like, the son of Sam, the son of Sam. You're not making the son of Sam happy. He should have been shot way sooner. Oh, we got two here. Ian Brady, I don't remember out of the time. Huberty. Henner, just a cool card. Adolfo De Jesus Constanzo? I I butchered that. James Rupert. Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Perry Smith. Oh shit. That's a wackety. Old Bumblebutt, Edmund Kemper. This big old goofy loser. Look him up. He was a funny one. Real idiot. Peter Manuel. I can't get these cards apart. Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, the Screen Door Killer. When he found out he was being called the Screen Door Killer, he actually complained, and I think he wrote a letter, but he was a big old whiny bitch, just like uh, Son of Sam. He killed a lot of people, tortured a lot of people, and was a complete moron to deserve to be shot in the face over and over. Complete monster, what he did. Lizzie Borden, murderer. She was unmarried. Good for her. Albert Fish. When they found him and did the... They did x-rays and found needles up in his crotch. He would actually put needles in his butt. So it would always hurt, but not too bad. He tried like putting it in between the uh, balls and the butthole. And it was just too uncomfortable, but he would still put them in there, and he would just leave them in there over and over. They found him with, like, over 30 needles in them still. Real gross. Albert Fish. You want to read about a fucked up dude? This is the guy. This guy right here. Did he get the middle or bottom? He put them in the bottom, the needles. No. Oh, we're not talking about needles in the bottom. Um, I don't know what you're putting around it. We're sidetracking from the video. Sorry, I need help. This is more important. I actually Are you putting flowers help. around it? A flower cart? Yeah, I'm going to add more. Well, just make sure the flowers fit around it, all the ones you want. I don't know your genius vision, wife. Middle or? Middle. Middle? Yeah, because you don't know if they're going to... Is it hangy or leany? It's a hang. Okay, it's then... Which is a hang? Then the bottom. Bottom? Yeah. Albert Fish, he strangled, he swent, he swent, that's not a word, he sent the letter to uh, the Grace family about the daughter that he took out to a little house in the middle of nowhere, and he tortured, mutilated, raped, actually no, did not rape, but he put that in the letter, because, you know, uh, that was good, he died, electric chair, crazy dude, that went way too crazy. And this guy, Ed Gein. Oh, mama's boy. The inspiration for Leatherface, Bates Motel, all kinds of horror. This guy is the reason we have so much horror right now. Good old Eddie Gein. He's a bit of a weirdo. He uh, liked his women big, fat, and thick like his mama. Just big old women, but hardworking women. Uh... He was a bit of a ghoul, got, went and stole bodies, maybe he was a bit of a grave robber. Grave robber? I'm really doing good today. Grave robber. They say he had help, but it was probably just good old Eddie Dean. Charles Schmidt, he looks cool. Whoop, whoop. Don't care. Let's, uh, we're getting tired. I want to go do stuff, so let's see. We got Carl Panzeram. Good ones are down here. Jesus. Panzeram, uh, he was definitely a monster. Killed eight blacks in Portuguese West Africa and sodomized them and fed them to crocodiles. Cool. Henry Lee Lucas, the Texas bisexual moonlight killer. That's. That was a whole lot. Yeah. 
His kill count, it says, was as high as 167. They weren't really sure. He said things, but you can't find bodies. You can't really charge them. The Riverside Killer, don't know, don't care. Richard Speck, look into him more. It's worth, uh, worth the research. He's a bit of a crazy person, too. Don't know your name. Don't know. Save that one for last. Ernest in Janino? I don't know. He's from PA, so that's fun. Don't know. He looks like a fat guy that's angry. Jeffrey Dahmer. Bridget rolled her eyes as soon as I said his name. Dahmer was complete maniac. I don't know how people didn't... Someone ate a penis sandwich, one of his neighbors. Let's put it that way. So that's where we start. Uh, just a rough childhood. He couldn't really express himself. He was very misunderstood. Killed and tortured a Laotian boy. Uh, what else? Cops were terrible. They didn't do their job, and this really caused... Jeffrey Dahmer just keep going until he had hit his berserker mode. And he actually, I think a day or two before he got caught and arrested, he actually went to the, I guess, went to get help. And he was there about 15 minutes and just got up and left. He's like, nope. So he went on and just did whatever until he was arrested. But everyone knows Jeffrey Dahmer. That's Cleo upstairs. And then we're going to end it with... One of my most psychotically interesting people, mainly because uh, Amarante wrote the book on John Wayne Gacy, and uh, it was crazy. John Wayne Gacy was nuts. You want to read something fun, read, uh, I can't remember the book, Defending a Monster by Sam Amarante. He, John Wayne Gacy is the reason we have the Amber Alert now. Well, the lawyer, he put that into effect. Uh, 27 bodies found under his house. 27 bodies. And then uh, five or six in the river near his house because his crawl space was actually filled. John Wayne Gacy, because he thought he would outsmart the cops, he invited them in during the investigation. He actually thought, oh, they can't find the bodies or do anything with the bodies if I flood my crawl space. They just turned on the sub pump and uh, water went out and they just, the place always smelled like dead bodies. He killed his first person actually uh, after he left a party that his wife was at and he was like, I'm bored. And he went to a Greyhound, picked up a boy and then went and had sex with him. They stayed the night because the wife stayed at the friend's house. And then he woke up in the morning, saw the boy in the doorway with a knife. John Wayne Gacy ran to him, took the knife Stabbed the shit out of this kid. And then ended it by looking down. He came in his pants. That's when John Wayne Gacy found out, hey, this is my thing. But Sam Amarante, Defending a Monster, great read. Completely insane. The opening pages are psychotic. So, read it. Make it your life. So, that is it. There's definitely more. I'll take pictures, but... Famous Murderers. This set was from Matt. He gave it to me. I absolutely love it. I'm going to figure out something to display these better. But these are awesome. I mean, just all around. It's a cool one of the coolest things I've gotten in a while. And then there's uh, 1990. Murderers in California. 3,000. Wow. 3,000% that... What? No way. That were solved. 61% LA Sheriff. 62 wow 62% of all murders in the US are from firearms US Department of Justice uh nationwide almost 6 kids are shot a day totaling over 2000 a year wow these figures are on the rise this is from 1991 that's crazy but matt thank you for the cards Nas, thank you for finally getting me the cards and uh thanks for watching i guess sorry i had to sit through that See ya.